Were you interested in pop music at all? Because it all sounds very classical, what you're talking about, but were yeah, I mean, you into the Beatles and all that? No, I was very, I very, very straight. I mean, I did have two albums, before I joined ELO, I had two albums, Aftermath and um, Revolution, the Beatles, you yeah. know, Beatles and Stones, and that's, you know, and I was dreadfully straight in those days, you know. <laughs> you know, there was, I just, I was just in that classical music tradition, you know, so it was, it was, it was such a, it was a, it was a bit of a shock to join the other actually. Right. Yeah. So, did they come looking for you? Did Jeff Lynne come looking for you, or did you go looking for them? How did it all come about? Um, as far as I understand, um, that they'd they'd started uh, well, Roy Wood and Jeff Lynne and and a few other guys had done the album, the first the first album, yeah, yeah, and then they. Then they advertised in Mo uh, Melody Maker or something for cellists because Roy Wood couldn't do everything. Mm -hmm. He'd done everything on the album, but in the live performance he couldn't do anything. So yeah. they had to get the whole thing together. So he got that together. Uh, they, they were getting that together by putting ad in Melody Maker. And the people that came were, weren't quite up to sta the standard that they wanted. They realised after a couple of months you know, that. that, that it wouldn't be good enough. So they were searching for cellists mm -hmm. and uh, so they changed the personnel, you know, they that hadn't done any concerts but there were people who were, were getting involved. And Wolf Gibson came on on violin and um, I think he motivated them into looking for, mm. for people. And so there's a great time in the classical world mm. You know that you phone one person, you phone another person, and you know you just you find, that, and that's how the word was spread. I'd heard about it vaguely because I'd met Hugh McDowell somewhere, and he'd mentioned this. You know, and I don't know why it intrigued me, but it sort of intrigued me. But also, I, I mean, I I don't know exact. No, maybe I hadn't. No. But one day I got a phone call and, and this person said, would you like to join the electric... I can't do a Birmingham accent, sorry. But anyway, he, d he had a Birmingham, very strong Birmingham mm. accent. He said, would you like to join the electric light orchestra? And my first thought was that was a, a, a or orchestra with a light show. I had done something, you know, the year before there was... Um, there was a band and they used an orchestra, Barclay James Hart. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, they had done something, and I played with them. Oh, I didn't know that. In a, in a, in, um, you know, a few orchestral sessions, it, it were concerts, you know, performances. But, you know, so, I mean, the thing is, it, it, you, know, um, um, you know, everybody goes through their own mm things in life, you know, and I, 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 I'd met this, this beautiful, um, uh, beautiful girl in the summer before this, this was about sort of February, March, February or something of 72, and the year before I'd met this beautiful girl and fallen in love, but she came from um, Yugoslavia, which is something different now. Um, and anyway, um, she she didn't write. She wasn't writing to me, writing back to me. So I got quite depressed. Mm -hmm. And um, so uh, there was this opportunity came with ELO to do something completely different. And somehow there are there are times when one one lo one's life mm -hmm. just changes you know and this is a kind of like a pivotal mm. moment for me i have no regrets you know but you know i could have been i would have been carrying on very much down the classical mm. route mm. you know there wasn't a great interest in uh, pop music or anything you know there was you know as i say i had those two albums <laughs> you know so so then what well, somehow I met. I went and met them, and then uh, we just we just uh, talked, 
and I played to them and they thought I was okay, you know, and that was it, you know, and then, then they said, yes, you know, we, you know, come for a full band mm. rehearsal, you know, and then it was going up to Birmingham mm. with, with Wilf and maybe, I, I think I introduced them, I don't know who, who was there at the beginning, I don't know whether Wilf was, Wilf, uh, Wilf was there, but I don't think, um, Colin was there. No, there was just a few other people from. Oh, Hugh was in it mm -hmm. yeah, to begin with. Thinking of cellists, and that, well, actually we had a, we had a spread of cellos to begin yeah. with. I think yeah. there was four cellos yeah. with Roy Wood playing. There was right. four cellos. But I don't know whether you you heard any of the, the early performances. They, the sound, you know, it was. It was a, like a challenging thing to do sound-wise for the band, for anybody, to do, you know, to to actually get a good sound out of the cello mm. is on without feedback and everything mm. is 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 quite difficult. So I think there was a lot of challenges that that, that the band was faced with on, on that sound mm. front, and um, you know, and I personally think that's that's. Partly the reason why why Roy would left mm -hmm. was that you know there was something really unsatisfying about the performances. So did you play their first gig? Was it in Croydon? Was you at that? Yes. That gig? Yeah. yeah, it was yeah. Yeah. at that. Yeah. And is it true there were more people in the band than there were watching? <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, well, there was quite a lot in the band, but but I think we did have a few a few more. Uh, you know, I think there was. I think there was, uh, uh, there must have been about 70 people there mm. in my memory. I mean, I love 105.38 Overture, do you remember playing that? Have you yeah. got the memories of that song? Yeah, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, it's a great song. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's got a lot of, uh, you know, what Roy want, wanted out of the yellow. Yeah. Which is that, that early beast, that Beatles stuff, mm. you know, it's got a lot of that influence there and it's gutsy. Gutsy playing. Yeah. And, um, really did enjoy playing that. Yeah. Rock and roll cello. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it was a Jeff Lynne song. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, it's, it's got some Roy Wood touches in there as well. Definitely, yeah. yeah. 